my boat came with dents like this one. And in a previous video, I said that I would do another video showing how I fix the dents. And this video is that one. Here we're moving the block supporting the boat. And you can get a pretty good view of this dent. This one is going to need some persuasion to get out. And the other one popped out on its own. Yeah, yeah it's pretty easy to see the dent. Stefan is the biggest and most powerful person working at any of the boatyards around Merritt Island. So whenever anything is too difficult for mere mortals to accomplish, we call Stefan and he can almost always get things done. So we use that board to keep the dent back out. And I've started cleaning up in this compartment. In order to do the fiberglass repair, it's going to have to be perfectly clean on the inside. And this is the crack on the outside. The dent is gone now, but this crack remains. So we're going to take care of that now. I'm going to grind through the gel coat where the crack is down to bare fiberglass and then we'll see what we've got from there. And so, yeah, there is some damage to the fiberglass. It's not what you'd call a hole, but a crack. So I'm going to clean up the area around it and make sure that, you know, I'm down to bare glass four inches or more past each end of the damage and then I'm gonna lay some fiberglass over this and then smooth it in with fairing compound and I'm gonna lay a lot of fiberglass on the inside of the boat and put in some string a stringer and some mini bulkheads just to force the hull into this shape and not let it pop back out. So a bunch of layers of chopped strand over the crack. And, this and then the great crack. fairing compound to smooth it out. It and I'll need there. another layer of fairing compound and sanding. But yeah, that's where the great crack was from the dent. That's where the crack was. So this is beginning the repair inside and I'm giving this a real good cleaning. 
this was round two. I thought I was just gonna brush up anything that hadn't been found in the first round. Thought it would be next to nothing. Okay, I guess round three coming up. Next, I clean it with water after I've gotten pretty much everything out that I can sweep out. And finally, acetone. The surface has to be perfectly clean. If there's dirt on the surface, all of my glue-down repair will just lift off with the dirt. I've left notches like this for water to go underneath the stringer at each end. And I've actually laid a little bit of fiberglass in this because these will get wet and the bottom will be probably encapsulated with the thickened resin that holds it to the floor, but these needed something. So I did that before installing them. And yeah, we're not going to talk about these other little notches that I put on the wrong side of the board for the same reason of letting water underneath as these, because, yeah, those dictate where those go. Okay, and here are the two bulkheads, or mini bulkheads. And I don't know, I was thinking about putting thickened resin on the underside of these and also marking their spot on the bottom of the boat and then setting them in and then trying to put the stringer in. And I don't know, I, I just had this terrible thought about these being glued down and then not being able to get the stringer in because they weren't aligned. So I'm going to assemble it all in place and then, I don't know, try to shove thickened resin underneath there. I'm going to need some in here and there as well. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 